The Voices of Kentuckiana, hosted by Debbie Crawford. Music by Clay Beverly. Produced by Len King. Debbie Crawford and I'm here with Chris Jesse who has a big surprise for us on June the 11th. And what is that, Chris? I'm doing a concert um, downtown Madison. Right. At the Ohio Theater, the historic Ohio Theater. Um, we've got a couple different acts playing and I'm going to debut some stuff with my new solo project. So awesome. I'm fired up about that. That is, that's great. And so now the band that's going to be with you this time is Nine Mile Reach, right? Yeah, uh, Nine Mile Reach. And it's some guys I've played with before in various groups. Um, we've kind of collaborated to make this project happen. So it's been really cool. Oh, that's awesome. And and it's going to be June the 11th at what time? The doors are going to open at 6 and we're going to have music start about 7 o'clock. About 7 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Is all this new music or is this song that you've written in the past? Yeah, it is new music. Um, it's stuff that I've just recently been writing. So <laughs> He's kind sense. of exploded all of a sudden. Yeah. He said all this stuff wandering around in his mind and he's put it on paper. So we're going to get to hear all that. Now some of the songs that you're going to play, are you going to play one of them today? Yeah, sure. Um, most of the stuff that, I've, that we're going to do, I, right? I've written recently. Um, it, it's exciting for me because it's a solo project, you know, I've always played in different bands around town and, right? and or by myself, you know, and um, I've never really had the freedom of going for it, you know, so here I don't have any restrictions or restraints, I don't feel like. Um, <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, so I, it's, been, it's been liberating to write that way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now you got... You got scolded for staying in the band room too long, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, you'll have that though. You're just it's kind of like the doghouse for musicians. <laughs> he he was flowing once <laughs> there for a while, and everything was just going good, and he was writing it all down, but he didn't realize he was in the band room for yeah. quite some time. I, yeah, I forced a song. It took 12 hours, and um, I got a little trouble for that. But I tell you, the next one came in like two minutes. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it was all worth it. Yeah, it's all worth it. Yeah. Once oh. that once I got that one out, it seemed like they all came. And, uh, right. It was it was cool. It's been cool. Um, well, that so is just great. Yeah, I'm excited to get it out and let people hear it. Yeah. Now, you're going to play a song for us today. Mm -hmm. And what is that song? Uh, the song's called Drive All Night. Drive All Night. Yeah. Well, listen up. He's going to play the song for you.
was wonderful, Jesse. Thank you. And that just came came from nowhere. Yeah, it kind of did. Um, there's some meaning behind it. Of yes, course, there's there, always, but yeah, um, yeah that, that's one of them. So. Now, how many songs are you going to feature on June the 11th that you've written? Um, 12 songs total. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we're going we're gonna to maybe do a couple cover songs, you know, that people know throughout right. the night just to keep it kind of exciting and um, a fresh breath of air, I like to call it, you know, a good cover tune that goes a long way. Um, yeah. But 12, 12 new songs of ours we're going to do. So. Oh my. And then there's going to be DVDs for sale that night. Yes, we'll have uh, CDs. Oh, DVDs. CDs, I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. I um, do DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have CDs and actually the first 100 people that come to the show get a free CD. So, right. Yeah. Now, how many people are in the in the Nine Mile Reach band? There's four guys, um, five total, including myself. Right. Mm -hmm. um, two guitars, drums, and bass. Oh wow, that should sound nice. Yeah, it's, it's a nice Especially cool in the Ohio Theater, where it's opened up like that. And... Yeah, I'm excited about the theater. Yeah, I seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles there when I was a kid. <laughs> I thought it'd be really cool to put on a rock concert there. And now, now you get to do yeah, it. You know. Dream, dream big, you know. Well, I think it's a pretty cool idea. That's what the theater's for. Yeah. Now, is there anything we need to make sure people know before June the 11th? Before June the 11th, we're not doing a pre-sale or anything like that. But um, come early and get one of the free CDs. You know, that's why we're giving them away. And a lot of our, a lot of the money we're going to make that night, we're giving back to the theater just because we want the theater to do well. You know, I think it's a good venue for Madison. Yes. Um, and it's a really cool place. And to see them be able to carry that on would be great. So we're going to donate most of the proceeds right back to them. So um, come early and spend a little cash, buy some M&Ms and popcorn. You know. Um, that's what we're hoping everybody will do. Oh yeah, help yeah. out the historical yeah. Ohio Theater in Madison, Indiana, on yes. Main Street. The uh, the theater I forgot how old the theater is. It's, you no, know, I don't know. It's been here a very long time, it has, and it's yeah. it's a wonderful theater. If you go inside, the chairs, the way they sit, and yeah, it's I, I, the wooden the the. Uh, the stage is actually still wooden, so you know you get that feel of the old time yeah. when you were a little bitty kid. And they built it before acoustics, yes, you know, or for acoustics before electric. So right, you know, it should it should Yeah, you true, got that perfect. wall up on at the top that makes all the sound bounce right back. Yeah, so. it should be great. Um, another thing that I wanted to add was there's been a lot of people supporting me over the years. Um, playing, you know, pushing me, and, and the this, this show's kind of for you guys, you know, I'm hoping that you come, and um, I want to give it back, you know, right? Uh, give the CD away, and hopefully all the pushing that you did, um, you're, you're proud of me, I hope, <laughs> so. I think they will be. Now, you just bought this guitar, didn't you? I did, yeah, I got a steel on it. Um, yeah. I'm a fan of the acoustics, and this happens to be a concert size. Um, it's not quite a parlor, not quite a grand auditorium. Right. It's right in the middle, so I, I like it. It's great. I like the sound. It's wow. very nice. Thank you. So I think you, I think you're wise picking this one up. Yeah, yeah, me too. So you you have more than one instrument you're going to play that night, though, don't you? Yeah, I've got about four guitars that's going to be up there with me. So. What about the mandolin? I know you have a mandolin. Are you going to play it? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll leave that up to the, you know. Hello. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I think Greg may play a little mandolin. I yes. don't know. Yeah. You never know what you're going to see at our shows. That's, that's the beauty of it. So. Well, cool. Now, do you have anybody else that's going to be there? Yeah, Bryce Hall from Scottsburg. A uh, funny thing about Bryce Hall is um, yes. he started Same Soul with me. Yes, uh, he did. When I was 21 years old. So yeah. uh, he and I did a good five year stint together, and it was cool. And it's good to be back on stage with Bryce. I think he's going to get up and do some songs with us. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, it should be cool. <laughs> I think so. So you need to make it out on June the 11th at the Madison Ohio Theater in downtown Madison, Indiana. And these guys are going to be playing from what time till? Music starts at 7. At 7. Doors open at 6 if you want that free CD. Yes. Um, and we'll probably go to 10, 30, 11 o'clock, if I had to guess. So. That's not too late. You can stay up that long. Oh, yeah. so. We're not taking away your whole Saturday. Just have <laughs> No, no. So, wonderful. Well, it's great having you here, Jesse. Thanks for having me. And, you know, the neatest part is I've seen this kid grow up, and I tell you, he's not a kid anymore. I know. He's an adult, but he's done well. So, I think you'll enjoy the show, June the 11th. The Voices of Kentuckiana, hosted by Debbie Crawford, music by Clay Beverly, Produced by Lynn King.